Welcome to our demonstration of the VMware vCloud Networking and Security Logical Network Services deployment. In this demonstration, we will learn how to configure firewall and load balancer services for the logical networks created through the VXLAN preparation process. First, let's take a look at the lab configuration. Here, we see two clusters, Cluster 1 and Cluster 2. In Cluster 1, multiple applications are deployed. One of the applications is a two-tier application with a DB tier and a web tier. Now, let's see the network configuration. On clicking the Network Virtualization tab, we see VXLAN configuration across two clusters. Also, we see two logical networks, the web virtual wire and the DB virtual wire. The two-tier application is deployed on these logical networks, where Web Server 1 and Web Server 2 are connected to the web virtual wire, and DB server is connected to the DB virtual wire. Next, we take a look at the Edge deployment. Here, we can see that the Edge Gateway is already deployed and it is an HA configuration, with Edge Gateway 1.0 and Edge Gateway 1.1 providing redundancy to all deployed network services. Also, we see three interfaces configured on this Edge device. On clicking Configure, we see different interfaces for the Edge device. The Edge Gateway can have 10 interfaces. The first interface is the external interface that allows access to the external world, and the other two interfaces are connected to internal logical networks, the web virtual wire and the DB virtual wire. Next, we'll configure the firewall rules between the two-tier application deployed on the web and DB virtual wire. Let's take a look at the current firewall settings first. We see a default deny rule, where all the traffic is disabled between any source to any destination. The external to web virtual IP rule allows external world to access the two-tier application's web server through HTTPS only protocol. Now, if we want to allow the virtual machines connected on the web virtual wire to have access to the external world, we can create the source NAT rules through NAT configuration and then make web to external firewall rule entry to allow access to any destination. We'll now create a new rule between the two tiers of the application and name it web to db rule. We have an option to create the rule with an IP address or VNIC group. VNIC groups are the interfaces of the edge gateway. Let's create this rule with the VNIC group. Here, the web virtual wire is connected to VNIC1, and the database virtual wire is connected to VNIC2. We create a new rule service, MySQL, with port 3306 and publish it. With this rule, we only allow the SQL queries from the web servers to the DB server. We will now configure load balancing services across the two web servers. A web server pool is already created. Let's take a look at the configuration. We see that HTTPS service is enabled in this setup, and there are three different load balancing options to choose from. The round robin, the least connection, and IP hash. We will choose round robin configuration, where the HTTPS requests will be sent to the two web servers in round robin fashion. Next, the health check parameters for the HTTPS service are configured with different timeouts and health thresholds. The health check is performed on port 443. Click Next. We then configure the member servers that will be part of the HTTPS service pool. There are two servers configured in this pool. To add additional web servers, click Add. Now, click Next. Finally, we see the enabled HTTPS service and health check parameters, as well as the members in the load balancer pool. Click Finish. Next, we publish these changes and configure the virtual IP for the load balancer service. In this case, the virtual IP is configured as 192.168.110.81. To access the two-tier application, customers have to connect to the web servers through the virtual IP address. Now, we will demonstrate the load balancer capability by accessing the web server through a browser running on a virtual machine. We see here that the first request is made to web server 1, and when we click refresh, the second request goes to web server 2. This concludes our demonstration on vCloud Networking and Security Logical Network Services deployment. Thank you.